Welcome to Mothership Meals Thanksgiving edition. I'm Kate Daniels, and today we're talking turkey. We have one beautiful bird here that's majestic and big and plump and fantastic. And then we have one that has been completely broken down. My suggestion during Thanksgiving is to always have two birds. Two birds that are smaller as opposed to one really massive one. The broken down bird will cook on its own in an hour and a half. Both of these birds have been brined just with kosher salt and water overnight and then rinsed out. That's my favorite way of seasoning a bird. I think simple is best. The next thing I do is I slather them with butter that's melted all over the skin so that it'll get nice and golden in the oven. And sometimes I add a little bit of paprika. This bird is not going to be cooked in the oven. It's going to be cooked in a turkey roaster. How often do we run into challenges that we don't have enough space when we're making Thanksgiving dinner? Well, you eliminate that challenge. How? By a turkey roaster. Now we come back to our broken down turkey. Why do I do it? Because it cooks faster and it creates room in the oven for other sides. Okay, everybody, buckle up. I've got an announcement to make. I don't stuff my turkey. I think that you are safer to do the turkey stuffing outside of the bird. I also like really crispy stuffing, and that doesn't happen inside the bird. So those are my reasons. Up to you, but if I were you, I'd do it the mothership way. Now we're gonna put this big boy in the turkey roaster, and then we're going to put the broken down turkey into the oven, and we're gonna work on the sides. You can find all of my Thanksgiving turkey recipes on mothershipmeals.com. Welcome back. Stuffing time and one whole pound of butter. We're gonna melt that and we'll be back to this shortly. We've just put the butter in the pot and now we move on to all the other ingredients we add to the stuffing, starting with a green apple. Now this is my favorite little gadget because you wind up with a very finely peeled apple. And then you can begin your dice. Now our butter is melted and we have all these beautiful ingredients that we're going to be adding to the butter to prepare for our stuffing. Three onions, finely diced, two cups of diced celery, chopped green apple. Then we move on from there, frozen cranberries. Yes, we are putting fruit into our stuffing. You are going to see how this is going to brighten the whole flavor of this entire dish. I had some dried apricots, why not? Raisins, some beautiful fresh chopped sage. I have about a cup here. Finally, we're gonna season it. Salt and pepper, that's it. If this doesn't say Thanksgiving, I don't know what does. We're gonna mix all of that up. And now we're going to add some broth. It can be turkey broth, it can be chicken broth, it can be vegetable broth. And we're going to add about a cup and a half. And then you're going to leave it for 20 minutes on a simmer to let everything soften and the flavors infuse, that sage come together with all the dried fruit and all your other aromatics in there. Hang tight. We're going to be assembling the stuffing very shortly. Well, this looks just about ready to add to our bread to make our stuffing. Here we go. Look at all that beautiful butter and all of those beautiful vegetables and herbs all together and the dried fruit. We're gonna combine everything together and then we'll put it into a cast iron pan. We'll put it in a 350 oven for 30 minutes. And once it's done and crisped on top, you can just cover it with foil and keep it in the oven on warm and it will stay until you're ready to serve it. Now, this requires a lot of technique. And as you can see, sometimes I get sloppy, but that's okay, cooking's meant to be fun. Now look at these beautiful autumn colors. You've got your beautiful ruby reds and your granny apple green. You've got your apricots in there, which look like fall leaves. I mean, this is a beautiful color palette. It really is. It looks like fall and it's gonna taste like Thanksgiving. And now we are ready to get in the oven. Oh my goodness, I wish you had smell-o-vision. Doesn't this look so delicious? My big challenge is that I love to just grab all those crunchy bits and snack on them. 
Okay, hands behind my back. I'm waiting. Let's get on with the rest of the sides. Sweet potatoes. I keep it simple to make it delicious. What do we do? We take our sweet potatoes. We take a little bit of olive oil, very little. Rub it on the skin, throw it into an oven-proof dish, and we roast it in a 400 oven for 30 minutes. Oh my gosh, look at that color. I mean, really. Nothing reminds me more of fall than this pumpkin color. And if you look, these sweet potatoes are so perfect on their own. You don't need anything else with them. They are sweet, they are soft, they are silky, and they are flavorful. Make it simple to make it delicious. My favorite sweet potato side. Now on to another side. Is it a side? It's a staple, but it's also a side. You can't have Thanksgiving without cranberry sauce. I like to start with my berries frozen because they hold up and they hold their shape better. So we go with quite a bit, package and a half, right into our pot over high heat. I don't like it too sweet, so I go with about a half a cup of sugar right on top. And I'm a purist. We're putting in two cups of water. If that isn't the easiest recipe for cranberry sauce you have ever encountered in your life, I don't believe you. We're going to cook the cranberry sauce now just until they actually pop, the little berries pop. That's about 10 minutes. Then just take it off the heat and let it cool. The natural pectin in the cranberry will allow it to thicken. Look at how beautiful this is. I cannot wait to dig into this. Time to get going because we've got to get that turkey on the table. Turkey's ready and now it's time to plate them up. grateful right now. We have our beautiful, majestic turkey, which was our whole presentation piece. Then we went to our broken down turkey, which is the user-friendly turkey that people can just come and help themselves to as they please. Then we have our gorgeous stuffing with the ruby jewels of those cranberries. And moving on from there, we get into our fantastic sweet potatoes, which are just roasted in the oven with a little bit of olive oil. And then we get our cranberry sauce, which is simple but delicious. Behind me is the tablescape. We have our checkered tablecloth. We have our vintage candlesticks. We've married old and new in terms of the china with its ruby color and its gold and its cream and it looks really almost Victorian. And then you look around at the florals on there as well and they are just, they make you happy. And there you have it, my beautiful Thanksgiving dinner. Happy Thanksgiving from Mothership Meals and from myself. See you next time.